There's only one way into Cinderbrick Fort. The hard way. Sure, the city marshals may be gone. But now the fort's crawling with windbags. to freeze or starve or face the kid. Wham! Kid's ready for the windbags this time. Young and old keep fighting for the fort. Good thing the windbags don't know the kid's fresh out of health tonics. At least the marshals left the kid a parting gift. Something the windbags just can't handle. Something that'll punch clean through their greasy hides. Windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while, but the fort ain't theirs by right. So many of those sorry things hold up inside that old fort. and everything in sight with that new fangled musket.
Jared is playing gone haywire. Big bags gummed up the works. It ain't afraid to get burned. They trap the kid in the middle of the force parade ground. and Glandon and all their scumbag uncles. Kid takes down Glutus. Or maybe it was Glandon. The other big fella soon joins his brother. Wherever they are now. The windbags finally get the message. He'd use the dream of getting a marshal's badge, but not like this. The Skyway's a welcome sight after all that. And now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrook Fort. Kid shows up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. The marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. Anything survives a musket shot ought to be quick work for that blade. Sip a lunkhead liqueur will toughen you up. Too bad it's like drinking a saddlebag. You want to tune a scrap musket, you start with the barrel.
Finders keepers. <laughs> 